SIPEM started the Angola Block 1506 Vandumbu project for ENI Angola in February 2017, with a suspension of four months between September and December 2017. The project is a surf EPCI project in 1,000 to 1,300 meters water depth and is part of the West Hub Development Project in Angola at about 120 kilometers from the coast. Vandumbu will be connected to Engoma FPSO, already present in the block since the start of West Hub development. Moreover, SIPEM was awarded an additional scope for the engineering, procurement, fabrication and installation of two multi-bore jumpers on East Hub Field. The project management, the engineering and the procurement are localised in Paris and are supported by the SIPEM subsidiary in Luanda for a part of engineering studies. Vandumbu project is a similar project as uh, Istab uh, project uh, two years ago. In fact, Vandumbu project is like an extension of Istab. It's the same block is and the same uh, scope of work. Six plates plus two jumpers. The plates of Vandumbu is a, a rush project because in four, five months, more or less, we need to fabricate and deliver the six plates. The most important and what gives incentive to the people is that when we communicate, we create a kind of link and a good cooperation between a company, between a project team, just to ensure that uh, everyone has the same and common goal, which is the, the milestones of uh, the, the project. Deliver with safety and with quality. And now to have two jumper, production and wagon. Uh, this is the, our scope uh, only to complete this the production to send uh, to offshore. Every uh, task, is, every action of the welder is according to the aim of the company. We have to respect all the specific rules, technical rules, which company gave to, to the group and we have to put it in action. First is a safety, and after safety, then we have a quality. And the quality is the one is making sure everything is being followed and everything is being built as per the project approved procedures and specification and quality plan. In terms of organization, the difference between uh, Istab and Vandumbu is uh, the manpower what we have available on the yard. In Istab, we have more or less on the yard more than 400 people and between uh, 300 Angolans, 100 expatriates. In uh, Vandumbo, we have uh, not more than 120 people, and uh, this 120 people almost is uh, Angolans. It means the philosophy we change a little bit between Petromar and Saipem. This uh, mix of personnel make a good, good improvement in 2018 because we are able and we are doing the job with uh, control and monitoring by SIPEM and the relation is very, very, very useful for both sides. In Sardinia, Arbitax Yard was assigned in the scope of work for the prefabrication of the quad joins, 360 in total, crossing bridges and a T manifold. The Intermare teams completed this big challenge in only three months. Quad joint is uh, basically a prefabricated section of pipeline. So we have two pipe strings uh, consisting of four pipes each, so four single joints that we weld uh, inside uh, the quad joint plant uh, that are after being uh, assembled together. We are charging them on the transportation racks, so 12 at a time, and with the tandem multi wheels, they are being uh, transported to the key side, and then with again tandem uh, cranes. They are being uh, loaded in uh, the pipe carrier. There was a big challenge of mobilizing the yard and the equipment to perform this kind of fabrication. And this was at the end uh, completed successfully and uh, repeat in safety and uh, quality.
The offshore campaign started in July 2018. The offshore installations equipment have been completed by early December 2018 using the Saipem FDS-2, FDS and S-3000 vessels and the Scandi-7 MSV provided by ENI. We have to install two pipelines, 8 inch, one service line, 16.5 km, one water injection, 10 km.5. Currently, we are uh, laying the service line. We are close to the completion. So tomorrow, we are going to complete the welding of the line. We'll uh, weld the plate to this line and start the lay-down procedure for the, the landing of the plate in the target box. We are going to install the plate, the, the abandoned plate. That means the extremity of the pipeline. We will take it from the main deck. We will install on the LDA, loading arm. After that, we will put it through the tower to weld it. After the welding complete, we will perform the coating and we will pass it through the GLT to send on the bottom. The control room, ici, on gère tout ce qui se passe dans la tour. Tout ce qui est euh, pour envoyer du pipe dans, dans la tour, les blades, forcément. Euh, tout est géré d'ici. Il n'y a personne, euh, personne d'action autre qu'ici. The ship is a dynamic position vessel. There are seven thrusters on board that control the position of the ship. Practically, the ship can stay in one meter maximum radius even with the worst weather conditions because the thrusters are controlled by computers. They receive information from satellites and also from acoustic instrumentation installed on the sea bottom. This ship is very high technology. It can allow to, to lie down pipeline more than 2,000 meters and uh, we make also other um, uh, deep water operations like installation of spool, other um, systems belong to the platforms, uh, plate installation, operation like pipeline, uh, umbilicals, and so and so. Well, hello, Carlo. Yes. We take the cargo bar, go to stay on the next one. No, side. Two plates uh, for the pipeline, we recover with the main crane and we put on board the FDS. We make sure all the safety measures are in place. Yeah, yeah. For me, management of SAP is very important that how the people come on board in the same condition they have to go back to the families. The safety on board this ship is one of the most important priorities. We are now on the second phase of the SIPEM FDS campaign. The scope is to install eight flexible jumpers. These flexible jumpers must be connected to the new subsea structures and new rigid lines installed during the first phase to the existing network of the West Hub field. Once the reels are on board the SIPEM FDS, we install the reels one by one in an unspooling winch. To unspool the flexible jumper, prepare the, the flexible jumpers. Uh, once the first end is ready, we overboard it to the tensioners till the unspooling of the second end. Uh, after the overboarding of this second end, we deploy the flexible till the till subsea, to, till the seabed, to connect it to the subsea structures. Prior to the installation campaign, the main task of the installation method engineer is to develop a procedure and perform studies in order to have a safe and efficient operation and installation on board. All these tasks will be performed in interface with the operations, design department and also the subcontractor. The main concern is to preserve the integrity of the product. For the second part of the Van Nubu campaign on FDS, the scope includes 10 flexible jumpers. They are far less rigid and much shorter than the rigid lines. So we need to focus on every single subsea phases and pay close attention as they are very sensitive to any sort of stresses. During the flexible installation, the most uh, challenging uh, part is the, the overboarding of the heads and the connection on the heads uh, subsea uh, because of the swell. The waves are making moving the, uh, the vessel and the more the waves are important, more the vessel is moving. 
then these operations, these lifting and connection operations become uh, more and more challenging. For the ADS, uh, we were one of the last vessels to mobilize on the uh, project, so it's a very challenging project. We had not a long time to prepare all the campaign. The relation with company for now is good. We have a good progress on board. We have three days ahead of schedule. So for now, we are quite uh, happy with the progress of the vessel and the quality of the work of the crew. The client is a very good uh, relationship with him, even with a warranty surveyor who is assurance of the, of the client. The client is happy and we are here to make him happy. The project was finalised with the pre-commissioning of the flow lines and umbilicals. This, along with the start-up of a subsea multi-phase boosting system, SMBS, achieved in early December, is boosting the oil production from Block 1506 by 20,000 barrels of oil per day via West Hub's Ngoma FPSO. First oil from Vandumbu Field was achieved in late November 2018, three months ahead of schedule. Beyond the completion of the work and the client satisfaction, the Vandumbu project is fully aligned with the SIPEM high standard in terms of quality and safety, as we faced zero LTI on one million man-hours. <laughs>